Hi Stampers, welcome back. Well, I'm thrilled to be sharing my seventh card idea featuring the excellent eggs bundle. And if you've been following along, thank you so much for joining me on this creative journey. For those of you considering this bundle for your Easter card making, now's the time to act. Celebration ends in just two days, February 29th. So don't miss out on the opportunity to earn a free celebration item with your purchase and grab this bundle before it's gone. So today's card, I'm excited to share it with you. We're going back to the Easter egg theme. Yesterday, we kind of veered off and did an out of the box kind of a guide card, which I loved making. Um, today, we're gonna do a colorful Easter egg card. I have a card base of bubble gum. And then for my layers, I'm using Highland Heather. And then I have a couple of layers of white. I have a scrap of lemon lolly, a scrap of white. And then I went ahead and I cut out four eggs. So let me bring the dies in. So the die has four different egg shapes. Um, and I'm using the second largest. I cut one of those. And then the third largest. So I have two in white and one in fresh freesia and one in lemon lolly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my painted textures 3D embossing folder and I'm going to emboss all of these eggs. Okay, so I'm going to do two at a time. I will be right back. Okay, so we have our eggs textured. I'm going to bring in a scrap sheet and I'm going to use my blending brushes and we're going to color these and they're going to be so, so pretty. So I'm going to start with the lemon lolly and I actually am going to ink it up a little bit with the daffodil delight ink. So I'm going to put some ink on my sponge and then just put it on the texture areas of the egg. Okay, just like that. So this one, the egg that's fresh freesia, I'm going to use my fresh freesia ink and we're going to do the same thing. So you want to get some of that extra off because if you get too much ink on here, um, it just will leave a harsher image. So you want to always start off lighter and you can always add more. So I'm basically just hitting all of those little ridges with my sponge, which might with my blending brush and adding that little pretty color to it. So now let's do the white ones. These are going to be fun. So I'm going to do one, the little one in bubble bath. So I'm going to bring in my, my pink blending brush. I'm going to do the same thing, just coloring in the raised areas. And this one I did color in the white a little bit more just to make it look like a colored Easter egg. Now this one, we're going to have a lot of fun with this one because we're going to bring in lots of different colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of bubble bath. And a little bit of parakeet party. And a little bit of azure afternoon. And I'm going to do a little bit of fresh freesia on it, too. I think I'm going to do a little bit of flirty flamingo, a little bit of a darker pink. Do a little bit more green, parakeet party. And I think that's my favorite one. I like that a lot. But wait till you see when we put all of these together on the card, how pretty it looks. Okay, I'm going to bring in my scrap and I'm going to bring in the bunny stamp and memento black ink and I'm going to stamp a bunny. And I'm going to bring in the die and I'm going to go ahead and cut him out real quick. Okay, there's our bunny. And I'm going to bring in this scrap right here and I'm going to bring in gorgeous grape and I'm going to stamp Happy Easter. Okay, let's put our card together. So here's my card base. And I'm going to glue these two pieces together. I'm 
don't worry about the sizes because after the video, if you hop over to my blog, I will have a project sheet with all of the sizes and supplies and shopping links. So now we're going to bring our eggs in. And we're just going to kind of arrange them here and there how we want them. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it down a little smaller. And that's going to go right there. Okay, so I am going to take my eggs off now that I see where I want them. And I'm going to glue this to the card front. I'm going to bring the big egg in and pop it up on dimensionals. I put it right down the center because I'm going to put an egg behind it. And I don't want it to bump into that dimensional when I do that. Okay, I want, I might have to move this over a little bit. Nope, that's good. No, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to glue these three down. Okay, I'm going to pop up our sentiment. And I'm going to pop up our bunny right there. You know what? I think I'm going to do, I'm thinking about my bunny there. I think I'm going to do a purple bunny on yellow on that lemon lolly. Yes, yeah, so I like that bunny much better. It's gorgeous grape stamped on lemon lolly. So let me pop that bunny up. And I'm going to bring in some bubblegum ribbon. I think I'm just going to put like a little tiny knot ribbon over there. Yep. Okay, so let me put that down with a glue dot. And there is today's card. I'm sure this handmade card would warm the heart and bring smiles to faces. It's so cute. Again, this was made with the Excellent Eggs Bundle stamp set and die set. And we texturized it with the painted texture embossing folder. And we used our blending brushes to add all that color. I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? Go ahead and leave me some comments. And see you soon. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.